Alright, so this is gonna be a tutorial on the off-balance skip in any percent. Uh, this one's kind of got a multi-step process to it, so I don't think this skip's too difficult, but you, you do have to have a pretty good understanding of it to figure out just what exactly you're doing, because there's multiple parts to it. Um, which is why I'm starting the tutorial here, even though the skip itself is at the end of the level. Um, so yeah, so the first thing first is that you can actually skip this entire side-scrolling section by bouncing off of this checkpoint with Akano. So the first part of the skip is actually right here. Um, if you go about where that flaming dragon head is, uh, you will activate a trigger that gets rid of Akano. And the first part of this skip is jumping over that trigger. Uh, because you want to carry Akano to the end of the level. Um, so you do that by... Bouncing and triggering Akano off of any of these four crates. The safest method is to use one of the three wooden crates there. The fastest method is with the nitros, but obviously a lot of the times you will take damage doing it, so I would only recommend that if you have a mask. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, well, you could also do that and just mess that up. <laughs> so... Basically, you want to jump... And when you land on the crate, you want to trigger a Kano. And I would also recommend holding X during this, or whatever your jump button is. Whether it's X or A on the Xbox, or whatever you've mapped it to. Um, and basically, you're going to have to get enough height to just completely jump over the trigger. And the trigger is not visible, obviously, so you're just going to have to get like a feeling for it. So... From here, you just go over here. That was definitely enough height. And then from here, so we skip the trigger that uh, gets rid of Akano. And from this point, even if you die, you will respawn with Akano. So you're pretty safe from here. And then here, you just go through all of this. And then a neat little thing about Akano is if you trigger him after a wall bounce, you get this really big speed boost. Alright, so... There's sometimes what happens here is uh, you'll get a glitch where the camera doesn't pan to this like it's supposed to. If that does happen, just break the checkpoint in death abuse. Um, but here, now what you want to do is, for one, you don't want to get Lonnie Loli, obviously. Um, but you want to bounce on any of these four crates and then end up on an invisible like roof, I guess, that is above the screen and you want to line up with this fence so the fastest way to do this is with the checkpoint like this i overshot it okay that's good because i'm now i can show that you can do it, you can do it with any of these crates also but yeah so this is about where you want to be like see how i'm basically lined up with the fence that's more or less what you're aiming for um, and then this is the part that generally trips up the most people, and it's really hard to tell what's going on from just watching a run, because most of this skip is off-screen. Um, thankfully, this setup was found by Damosk, and it's extremely easy and extremely consistent, so big shout outs to him for finding this. Um, so basically from here, you want to... So see, if I hold forward, there's an invisible wall there. What you want to do is you want to do a slide jump and trigger a Kano during the slide jump, and then, immediately after you do that, while holding forward, you want to uh, deactivate Akano. And that will put you about another layer up here. Um, so let's see. So yeah, just do a, uh, uh, do a slide jump, trigger Akano, jump again, and then deactivate him. It's really hard to see what I did because, the, again, there's a lot of scenery in the way. So basically, you you slide jump, Akano, jump, and then deactivate Akano while holding forward. Like that. And now I'm on a higher level. And then from here, you want to slide spin to the right. I think about four slide spins should be good, but it kind of just depends on where you are. So slide spin directly to the right. And then if you want a visual cue... Um, See how, like, a certain leaf on the pink tree down there is, like, in line with what you can obviously see is the end of the level box? Um, this is about the visual cue. You can make whatever visual cue you can come up with here, but from here, you just have to do a slide spin jump into Akano, 
and then when Crash or Coco is about in line with the top of the tree line, jump again and hold forward this entire time. And then you should make it to the end. And then you'll have an idea of when you land because the screen, the camera will stop panning down. Um, yeah, so, and then from here you can just run to the end of the level. I'll do it again just to show it off one more time. So yeah, just bounce on any of these crates. Land about right there. Slide jump, Akano, jump again, and then deactivate. All while holding forward. So. And make sure the deactivation is like almost immediately after the second jump. And then from here, just slide spin. About right here. And then. And that's the skip. And then from here, you can just exit the level. And that's the off-balance skip. Um, thanks for watching.